Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and I am going to take you through a little tutorial today showing you how to work with layer masks. This is a very important tool to use when working with images in Photoshop and elements. I kind of explained the basics of layers themselves in a separate video, so you might want to check that out if you don't understand what layers are yet. I'm going to run an action from the Picture Perfect mega set for Photoshop now called Minute Makeover. If you're working in Elements, this is called Perfect Portrait, and it's the like same type of action. It's an all-in-one retouching and corrective action, and it's going to run. And at the end here, it tells me that you're not going to see a difference on many of these layers until you start painting on your layer masks. Now, what are layer masks? You can come over here to your layers here and see this little black box here on our skin smoothing layer. There's no skin smoothing going on here. And why? That is because our layer mask is black. With layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. And so we see here this whole layer is black, which means none of that layer's effects are showing up yet. Now the way to get that to show up is to get your brush tool. And I'm going to select B on my keyboard in Photoshop. And that selects our brush tool automatically for us. And you can change your brush size by hitting your bracket keys. I'm going to hit left bracket key, right to go up, left to go down in brush size, and you can see it change right there. And I'm going to keep hitting left to make it smaller and make it fit in there a little bit better. And I have my brush set at 100% opacity, which is fine most of the time. Sometimes you might want to start out more subtle and build up the effect gradually. Uh, I recommend that when you're working with maybe lightening or darkening selectively. Uh, it just, it get, you get a little bit more natural effect instead of just whamming it all on at once. Um, I'm going to just work with 100% opacity on this one here. And you need to have your white selected. If you are painting on a black layer mask, you want the white color selected. You can hit D on your keyboard, and that will get you back to your default colors, which is a white foreground or paint. Uh, for your brush and a black background. So I'm hit D and I've got my white brush selected and you just start painting where you want that to apply. Now with skin smoothing, it is one of those things where you're as you're painting, you might not see a lot of a difference. Uh, but after you're done painting where you want the effect, you can go back and toggle this visibility on and off and I'm going to turn that off and on and hopefully you can see that on this small little video but it did do quite a bit. You don't want anybody looking plasticky or doll like so I recommend going lightly on stuff like skin smoothing and eyes and um, to make sure it is working you can turn it up to 100% you can see that that makes her look like a plastic doll. So I'm going to turn the opacity back down to about 45% or so. And uh, that looks pretty good. That might be a little bit more smooth than I want, but I want you guys to see it. And, uh, and we can go through all of these different layers and look. We can see any of the layers that have white layer mask. That means that that entire uh, layer's effects are showing up. Okay, so that's a boost contrast layer. And you can see there that that's showing up. Now, if I didn't want the... Now, I'm going to turn this up all the way so you can see a little bit better. And... There. So turn it off, turn it on. The entire layer's effects is showing up. Now, if I didn't want the boost contrast on just a part of the image, I could select my black brush, and you can hit X on the keyboard to switch from white to black. It just switches your foreground and your background, and you hit X. And I'm going to change my brush size. I'm going to hit the right bracket key and go up and brush size there, and just to kind of show you. Now I'm taking the contrast off of it in just the areas I wanted to. And um, I wouldn't really do that, but I'm just kind of trying to show you here. So now the boost contrast is only showing up in the white areas there. I'm going to undo that because I don't want to actually take that off part of the image. I'm going to go down here to the eye layer here, and I'm going to hit Command-1. That gives you your image view at 100%, so you can really see what you're doing. And with eyes and skin smoothing and details like that, I recommend zooming way in. And I'm going to zoom in even further by hitting Command and Plus to zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to take my white brush. So I'm going to hit D again to get the default colors back. And I'm going to uh, hit my left bracket key again. To change my brush size and make it a little bit smaller, I'm going to work with a smaller brush when working with the eyes. And I'm just going to paint over her lashes and maybe a little bit under. I am always really careful not to paint much of anything on the whites of the eyes. That's probably the biggest 
offender I see in over editing at the beginning when people are just starting to edit is over editing eyes. And so I'm going to do that very lightly. I'm going to take my opacity down on that layer and that's uh, eye detail and sharpening and that's just very subtle but that's just enough. And a lot of times I'll do the lips a little bit with the sharpening as well. And so you can see with our layer masks, these are only showing up where we're painting with white on those black layer masks. And uh, you can see some of these layers are turned all the way off. And so if I wanted to apply the cool down, I could click the eyeball. You can see that cooled it way down. Obviously not what we want to do for this picture, but you get the point. And warmth, and you can turn that on and it warms it up. And you can obviously, like the other layers, change the opacity to turn the subtlety up or down. And uh, you can also, if you want to cool your picture down for some reason, uh, but don't want to cool down all of it, you can get your black brush, B, and I'm going to hit X again to change my color from white to black. And I'm going to change my brush size up there. And uh, say I, I really want to make this ugly. <laughs> and I'm going to, I, I painted off the cooling layer off of the outside and you can see just her face is really cool now. And so you can see how layer masks work there. Now say that you painted on your layer mask and you don't like anything that you did there. You can hit your D key again um, for black and white and hit X so your background is white and then hit option and delete or alt and delete on a PC and that will fill the entire layer mask with black so it just takes off all the painting you just did. And then if you want to switch your layer mask from hiding everything to showing everything, you can hit Command I, which is inverse, and it turns your black layer mask into a white layer mask and then we'll show everything because with layer masks again, white reveals and black conceals. So hopefully that shows you a little bit more how uh, to work in getting very select results with your layers and your actions and is very important when working with things like the retouching actions for eyes and teeth and hair and all of those sorts of actions and can also be used uh, in artistic actions. I'm not going to go through it right now, but you can you can apply those same layer mask techniques to your artistic actions. Say if there is a very uh, yellowy type layer in your action and you want it taken off the skin, uh, you can paint with the black on that layer mask and take it off of the skin. Um, you can do this on any layer that has a layer mask. You can take off or add to your image um, selectively using your layer mask. They're very powerful tools and very important to know how to use. And I encourage you just to go open your image, uh, run a couple actions, and play with your layer masks and see how they work. And practice is really the best way to get to know how to use them effectively. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.